Dr. Richard Buckley here at Milford, MD. This morning's project is a face neck lift with a central corset platysmoplasty. So far I've done the right side. I've made some uh, incisions in front of the ear and, and up into the scalp a little bit, behind the ear a little bit. I've also suctioned down the jowls and you know fat accumulates on the outside of the smile lines and then the inside of the smile lines towards the mouth they actually are typically a little bit fat deficient. So it's nice to remove fat from areas you don't want it and put it in areas where you can use it. So this is uh, the fat actually that I took out and um, after it's separated from the numbing fluid, I'll actually put that fat back in in a different place. I'll put it to the inside of that smile line, which will help raise it up. It's like a filler, if you will. And probably a little bit in the pre-jowl notch, which is that indentation, which is often seen in front of the jowls. At the moment, we're also working on the neck. The neck has much less fullness than it had a minute ago. Um, it's getting to be actually, you know, a very nice sculpted, youthful looking neck. It was full here a few minutes ago, and now it is not because we did some liposuction. If you will move the camera here, you can look down in there. Can you see that? Uh, indeed, you can. All right, so this is the skin of the neck, plus some fat on the underside, known as the subcutaneous fat. And then down below that um, is the platysma muscle. So it's right here. Also, there's a little bit of fat down below that platys platysmal muscle. Um, I will remove some of that fat, and I will also tighten that platysmal muscle up so that it gives us uh, more of a chiseled so-called cervical mental angle. That's the angle of the jaw. And so there are many pieces to the puzzle. We're working on the neck and there's a tiny little incision here. That'll, you know, go away and nobody ever sees that. And uh, then we'll do lifting of the neck tissues, the tissues underneath the skin of the face. And the last step will be to trim off the excess skin that, that we know we do have. But the first thing to do is to tighten what's underneath it. In the face, that's the supramuscular aponeurotic system, or SMAS for short, and in the neck, it's the platysma. And the platysma, in fact, comes up and over the jawline a, bit, a little bit to maybe here, and it envelops the neck, as I said. Uh, there's a curtain-like muscle, very thin, that holds things up, gets bagged out with time, and we can get that so the trampoline is no longer bagged out and adopts a more youthful posture. So today, we're doing a supramuscular aponeurotic suspension, a minimal cranial access, and a little bit of a central corset platysmoplasty. I probably will do um, a little bit of a mm, suture sling as well. So I can pass under the skin a little suture from here over to here, and from here over to here, and loop it in the center and make a little loop down here under the jawline and I can get some further accentuation and sculpting and tightening and chiseling of this jawline by doing so, which I probably will do. We'll see. This is all artwork. Uh, everybody's different every single time. Thank you for listening and watching Milford, MD.